So I am editing this video and I guess I never hit record when I was recording the intro. So basically I'm going to be showing you guys my sister and I's online boutique office and where we store all of our inventory and it kind of the video starts about me talking about how our two year anniversary is coming up and we finally have like a good place to keep all of our inventory so hope you guys enjoy keep on watching well we are coming up on two years of being in business and now that we are in our new home we finally have a office i guess you could call it for the white giraffe boutique inventory yes if you guys are interested in how we organize our online boutique in one small office keep watching um, and if you are interested in any more boutique type videos like how we got started how we um, decide what type of inventory we want anything like that just leave a comment down below um, I could maybe make like a series on my channel about boutique owning um, obviously I would need my sister to come in and help me with those videos because she knows again more behind the scenes stuff but yeah, also my outfit is of course from White Draft Boutique. So we have this Starry Night necklace, these black hoops, and then this black um, tunic. All from White Draft Boutique. I'll leave the link down below. And I will also have a discount code for you guys. It'll be Sophia15 for 15% 15 off your order. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So here's our front door. And then we just have these double doors to the office and normally we keep them open but for the sake of the video i'm keeping them closed because my family is um out there making noise so when you come in i have my little slippers on you go up like this and then to the side i'll give you like an overview and then i'll kind of go more in depth so this is all of our inventory it doesn't look like a lot but it actually kind of is. We do have um, quite a bit of inventory for a small boutique. And then we just have a mannequin. We change this up quite a bit. Take pictures on it all the time to display things like scarves. Um, Cause it's 85 degrees outside. So we don't really want to take pictures in scarves <laughs> yet. This desk is like the main focal point. Um, this is never this organized. It's usually pretty messy actually. Um, my sister will sit there and then sometimes I'll pull up a chair here from the kitchen and we'll work. Um, and then obviously we have stuff to package up orders. So we just have white tissue paper but something I want in the future is like seasonal tissue paper. So like orange and red for fall and then Christmas colors, you know. I think that would just add a lot to the business and who doesn't love cute packaging so that's something that we are going to probably invest in in the next couple of weeks because fall is like right around the corner but yes this is where we come up i'll like come to the side i do most of the packaging i really enjoy it you just package it you put a little thank you sticker and then if it's a pickup like a local pickup we'll write their name on this like white sheet of paper stick it on there and then of course thank you note you have to write a thank you note for your customers so they know how appreciate how appreciated they are and how appreciative you are i don't know if that made any sense but it did in my mind um wrap that up and then over here here i'll take these people's names off but this person this needs to be shipped so we need to print the shipping label this person bought two things and she has not paid yet so we haven't wrapped it up um but I, we know she will pay, we know her. So I'll wrap that up later today and then stick it by these other packages. Um, their name again on this white sticker and then not paid. Not gonna show you their names obviously. Um, we stick them over there. So once they pay, we can put them 
um, either send it in the mail or we have a pickup spot that I will also show you a little bit later. So this little table is actually really ugly, but I do want to paint it or just get something different. But for now, like I was just sick of everything being on this table. So I got this to put like little extra things. Here is like how we stay organized. Usually that's on the desk, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to tuck it away. We write just everything in here, like new items, pre-orders because we do that on our Facebook group page which you, which you guys can definitely go follow. It's just Facebook White Giraffe Boutique group. Anyone can join. Um, that's where we post a lot of new items before they hit the site. Um, it's just a perk of being part of the group and then you do this thing called comment sold so you don't have to go on the website. We say sold, send us your size and your address if you need it mailed, and then we send you an invoice and you never even have to go on the website, which is really convenient for a lot of people. So we keep that organized in a bunch of notebooks. So I'm not gonna show you guys that just because there's like people's names on it and everything and um, whatnot. So there's that, definitely need like a new organization, but for now it's working. And then you come back over here and then I just like to make the thank you notes cute. So I use different types of pens. And then we use so many sticky notes to write like not paid or whatever. Here's my phone. And then we have another boss bag, boss babe, where we put um, like when we go live, we write what we want to say and like the prices of things we're going to be sharing right on here. And then this has nothing to do with the business, but I'll just give you guys an overview because it's really cute. And a lot of this decor is either from Goodwill, garage sales, it's just kind of all Mod Podge, or it's like really old. So again, here is where we keep unpaid orders that um, we obviously are not gonna give the buyer, <laughs> give me with my hands, we obviously won't give the buyer their product until they pay and we give them, um, we remind them, we're like, hey, your invoice has been sent out just because some people don't check their email every day, like I definitely don't. Come over here, there's Michaela and I from like 2005. <laughs> and then you come down here and normally we have our scale in here and we weigh like packages. I'm not sure where it is right now. Um, maybe I can go try to find it and show you guys. I think we just got it on either Amazon or Walmart or something. And then down here is extra packing supplies. So extra tissue paper, stickers, um, packing slips, and then more black, like the bags we put the product in. And then over here, we do have jewelry. We do not have a lot, um, but like look how cute these are for winter time. So cute. We definitely should probably figure out a better organization method for jewelry, but um, we don't sell a lot of jewelry, so until we, you know, figure that out. <laughs> but what I'm wearing right now are on the website, so you guys should go check them out. I love them. They're so cute. Okay, anyways, then we have our head wraps. These are from last season. Um, we got them kind of like springtime last year, so not too many of them sold. So we will have them for this season. So cute. This cherry red one, two hats, and then we obviously need to get a lot more for fall and winter, especially living in Wisconsin. And then down here is sunglasses and then other jewelry, like the starry night necklace I'm wearing, which I'm obsessed with. And then we have scarves. Some of it's still in the plastic wrap, some of it's not, obviously. And then we have more scarves. This is like totally a winter wonderland scarf. So cute. Where we keep all of our clothes and we just have a very nice light, which is awesome to like, so it's not so dark back there. Up here we just have white giraffe sign and some random decor. Here we keep our pants. We have these black like lounge pants. We have some can-can jeans and then we have these tie-dye shorts up here. So we don't have pant hangers, which we should probably get, but for now we just hang them. I mean, fold them. And then kind of back here, it's a little organized, but it could have definitely more 
organization. We just have like Sherpas from last season. This is all kind of last season stuff that obviously will be going on sale soon because um, we're gonna be getting new fall and winter items. And then, oh my gosh, this shirt never wants to stay on the hanger. I'll have to fix that. This shirt is literally so cute. It's, I think it's called like the cotton candy top. We love it. And then some more newer items, our Twisted Sisters top. Love it. And then like our newest inventory is like right up front. This is our Into the Jungle sweater, our Team Spirit hoodie. And then we have more just down there, but usually we hang up just a few of each. Um, this is called Team Spirit because the high school that my sister and I went to, it was blue and gold for colors. And then this tie-dye, I don't remember what this one's called, but I love it. I have one, I um, got one for myself. So soft. And then cheetah because we just love animal print in this family. And then this is like so adorable for fall. It's not really picking up the correct color on camera. It's a little brighter in person, but it's a tunic. And then just this really casual white top. And then you kind of tie this. So cute as well. And then we have our spotted cow shirt because we're from wisconsin and everyone in wisconsin drinks a lot of beer so spotted cow <laughs> it's a brand of beer um and then this like lacy top this tunic is what i'm wearing right now um then we have tank tops and then t-shirts and then more sale stuff that we've had for a while that we just either the sizes just don't work for people or I don't know sometimes you buy stuff and people just don't like it that is our boutique and then if we need to close this we can if we need to like put this away or just take the things off and put them in the closet we totally can but everyone that comes over knows we own a boutique and that's just part of it um, it's really nice because then we don't have to keep everything in the basement where it's dark and I don't want to say dungy because um, if we live in a new, hi, a newer house so, but still, who, no one likes going down to the basement to work. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was probably really short, but I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what our boutique looks like. Um, Ideally, this will be a store one day. My mom and sister think I'm crazy for thinking that, but I would love to own like a, what's it called, a brick and mortar store. So maybe in the future, um, we all work full time, so this is just like a side hustle for us, but we enjoy it. I love it because main reason why we started this boutique is we live in central Wisconsin. There are not that many good places to shop. Um, I mean, we have TJ Maxx, Target. I mean, there's a real American Eagle, but that's at the mall. And the mall in our area is sketchy, so we don't really go there. Um, but yeah, I think everyone that's bought from us has been six, like has been, it's really fun for me to like know, like I picked something out on a website um and then other people are picking it out from me because they like but yeah that is our online boutique warehouse oh i was going to show you guys where we put packages once they are ready for pickup so let me do that quick okay, so we keep our packages that have sold just in this um clear container right by our front door because a majority of our customers do pick up because they live in the same um city as us so then i'll just put these backwards so you don't see any names um so like these two people need to pick up their order today or they don't need to but um they said they'd be here today so we just leave it out at night we take it inside and we bring it back out um we live in a new neighborhood where we have nice neighbors um, and so we don't worry about leaving packages like unattended even though someone's always home so 
they're really never unattended. Um, but that way it's contactless, especially with COVID, we don't have to see anybody, touch anybody. Um, people love it. They can just come, grab it, and go, and they don't have to worry about, you know, ringing a doorbell, waiting for someone to come. Like, no one likes that anyways. Um, but yeah, I am totally loving being a boutique owner. Owner, my sister is the major, like, owner. Um, I say <laughs> she's the owner, I'm the CEO, and my mom is the manager, and our dad is the employee because he puts up, he deals with the boxes, he deals with us being busy, like he, he's great. We're, it's a family business. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the link in the description box. I will link our website and as well as our Instagram and Facebook group and page. Go follow us um, if you wish. And if you are interested in purchasing anything from our website we would be so grateful every time we get a purchase we literally do a little happy dance we're like yes like the hard work is paying off um it's just really exciting every time someone buys something from us um but yes use my code sophia15 for 15 percent off and then if you end up buying anything don't forget to tag us in instagram because we love seeing you guys wearing our clothes it's really special to us um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!